So, I'm going to do 3A, which is showing you how I can tie a um, timber hitch and a clove hitch. So, we'll start with the timber hitch, and then we'll do the clove hitch. Um, the clove hitch was honestly the hardest one of the two for me. So, we'll start with the timber hitch. So, but, okay. I have to sit so that you can see the marker. Okay, I gotta hold it like this. All right, so you wrap it, you put a loop. You take, uh, sorry, you take your, your yarn string, whatever you're using to make your hitch, you put it on the opposite side of the marker that you're looking on, and you have one shorter end and one longer end. So you're gonna take the shorter end or your working end, and you're going to loop, put it over the loop, you can't really see it, but you put it over the loop so that you get, over it so you get a loop, wait, okay, you get, put it over it so you can get a loop, and then you go through that loop you made, like that, as if you were going to make a normal knot, well, I had not to tie your shoes, and then you're going to loop it by going under and then over one side of your loop, this one, the side of your loop that you're looking at, five or six times. Well, four or five times. And then you're gonna tie it tighter, tight, by pulling both end, on both ends. And you should get this. This is um, actually, you can see that it's looping around. It's just kind of hard to see because of how thin this yarn is but that is the timber hitch and then okay the clove hitch this one's also going to be harder to show you because I have to hold it in a way like it'll work okay oh wait there's a knot on that end I'll have to use this end okay so you put you take your marker or stand or whatever you're trying to put it on and you make uh you go under it with the working end and you make a loop and then you cross it to get an x and then you want to come up so that you're again so your your strings like this well, yeah, and then you want to go around, wait, hmm, what did I do wrong? And then you want to go up, and then you want to go back around, you want to make sure you keep that X, but you want to go back around so that you end up in between the two legs of the X, per se. Um, because then you got to go under the strip of yarn that is over the other one for the, to make the X. So, and then you're going to pull, and it should kind of look like this. So, this is the yarn that's going over, this one going across, and then these are to the two under. But we have to be careful with this knot because it comes undone really easily. Um, so that is 3B, um, tying a timber hitch and a clove hitch.